So there's obviously a lot of guys we can talk about, a lot of guys we can break down film of going into Super Bowl 54. There's obviously the big names, Patrick Mahomes, Jimmy Garoppolo. And listen, I've definitely made my fair share of talking about videos about that. But you know what? While we still have about a week left to talk about this Super Bowl, I figured I should give someone who maybe won't get a ton of media attention some love here because he probably will have a big impact in this game, and that is Kyle Juszczyk. I mean, he's just such a such an interesting player in the way he plays the game. He is that Swiss Army knife type guy where he can do it all, and let's just jump into what he can do so well. We'll start things off with this play. This was in the NFC Championship game. This was actually a huge way that the 49ers were able to get a victory. This was a third down and one. They were able to now get this first down, get in field goal range, and eventually just ice the game by making it a three-score game. So this was a huge play. I've actually broken down this play before. I broke it down on my Twitter and Instagram. I've been posting just a, a quick breakdown every day on those. So if you haven't checked those out, definitely check those out. Link is in the description. But Anyways, let's get in a little bit more detail and talk about exactly what happened. So it's going to be a run to the left side of the screen, and what you would typically expect would be that the left tackle and the tight end, Kittle, would block like that. That's what you would typically expect on a regular play like this. However, with a good fullback in the game and only needing one yard, they're instead going to double team an interior lineman, have Yushek just one-on-one -on -one block Smith right there, that's Preston Smith, and then that way they can figure they'll get enough of an opening that they can at least get that one yard, and that's all they need. The downside being, now you have a fullback who's going to try to one-on-one -on -one block Preston Smith, a great defensive end. That's not easy to do. But after the ball is snapped, notice how Yushak here is going to go over and block. And also what's very interesting is he kind of puts both of his hands around Preston Smith like that, because he knows that for Preston Smith, he just has to get to the middle. It doesn't really matter if he pushes through Yushak. If he pushes through Yushak, well, the halfback will still be able to run and buy them both, get a first down, and that's all they need. So, a little smart block right there, but also just a great block. They gained two yards when they only needed one, and, and again, that was kind of the clincher, you know, that drive as a whole, and it was huge that they picked up that first down because then they were able to run out two more minutes and kick a field goal, and that kind of iced the game. And one of the real things that makes him so effective isn't just that he can block straight up, but it's the fact that he's so athletic. I mean, he might be the most athletic fullback in the league, and this plays a good example where it is going to be a running play to the top half of the screen, and so what they're going to do is have those three blocks right there where it's going to be a left tackle blocking a lineman. They're going to have Kittle move up to block a linebacker, and then they're going to have Yushek just one-on-one -on -one block. It's going to be a defensive back that he is blocking, but he's going to have to get over and try to get in position to block that defensive back, which won't be easy because, you know, you would think that a fullback is not going to be as quick as a defensive back. But after the ball is snapped, notice how Yushek easily gets in position right here. And at this point, he's won. There is no way that Yushek is going to miss this block. He completely pushes Bradley McDougal. That's the Seahawk that he is going up against. Completely pushes him out of the way. And that's what he can do. You know, it's not just the straight up blocks, but he can move around, which is very key in this San Francisco 49ers system that likes to run the ball in tons of creative ways. The fact that they have a fullback who can move around like that. That's what makes him, you know, that's one of the reasons why he is one of the best fullbacks, if not the best fullback in the NFL right now. And it also sets things up. Like on this play, it's actually going to be a screen pass. So what they're going to do is that they're going to have the two players who are lined up, who they're going to run out and block those two Arizona players. And then their left tackle and also their left guard are both going to run out to set up as though they're blocking a defensive line, but then actually move up to block just anybody else in the area. So then for Yushek, typically, if this was just a traditional play, it would be him blocking that Arizona Cardinal right over there. It's a defensive end. Yushek, as we've seen, can block a defensive end one-on-one. -on -one. And so if you are a defensive end, you can't just sit here and say, okay, there's a back around me, so I, I should wait a little bit to make sure that it's not a screen pass or try to run through him. If it's Yushek, you kind of have to try to run around him because if you try to run through him, you won't be able to do it and you'll take yourself out of the play. And so as of it gets right here, again, this is the point where if it was just a halfback or if it was just a lesser fullback then you might just try to put your right hand into his left shoulder push him back and then try to get to Garoppolo that way but he's saying hey I know Yushek is good I'm going to try to get around him but the second he does that Garoppolo is able to flip it to Yushek and now all the blocks are set up perfectly in front of him and he's able to run all the way inside the five so 
That wouldn't happen if Yushek wasn't as good of a blocker. And of course, it also helps that he can move. He can run in open space, which is what makes him such an effective player. Quite frankly, Yushek probably could be a halfback. He's that good at moving, but he just he's better suited to be a fullback in this system. And also, he can be effective if you just put him out wide. Like on this play, those are the routes that the receivers on the top half of the screen will be running. And that's going to be Kyle Juszczyk's route. He's going to cut over the middle. There are two 49ers players who are going to be running a little bit closer to the top half of the screen. And it's actually going to work out really well. Take a look at what happens right when this ball is snapped. There's an Arizona player who you would think at this point should just run down and cover him up. But at the same time, he's thinking, there's Kyle Juszczyk. That's a fullback. There's two receivers closer up to the top half of the screen. I should try to take that away. I shouldn't really worry about Juszczyk too much. I mean... He's a fullback. Even if they do throw it in his direction, he'll probably drop it, or maybe I can just run over and knock it away. It seems unlikely that he's the guy who's going to beat me, but the problem with that is that he probably didn't watch enough tape because Yushek absolutely can beat you. Yushek gets wide open and is able to run and, you know, get to, again, inside the five right there. And that's what Yushek can do. You use him schematically, and he can absolutely make some big plays. That's a good example of it. And who knows, this could absolutely be something he does in Super Bowl 54. I could definitely see San Francisco saying, let's use our best plays in this game. And you know what? We have Kyle Juszczyk, who's someone who a lot of people don't really think about too much. So he can be the guy that have some creative plays through, especially because his talent is just so unique and the fact that he is just such a, such a talented athlete. If San Francisco does have some trick plays dialed up, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the trick plays are dialed up through Kyle Juszczyk. That would not surprise me one bit. And this play might have been my favorite play of the entire year from Juszczyk. He's going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers here, and it starts off like it's going to be a traditional running play where it's going to be a play action, actually, but it looks like it's going to be a running play. Juszczyk is going to run out, and it looks like he's going to block that linebacker right there. And so after the ball is snapped, the linebacker is totally saying, okay, I got to make sure I can get in position to not allow myself to get blocked out of the way. It looks like right now he's going to try to get a little bit higher to the top half of the screen than Yushek get around him that way. However, as of right this second, it's not going to be a running play. It's going to be a passing play. Yushek is easily able to get by him, gets wide open. And even though Garoppolo doesn't make a great throw, Yushek makes a great catch. And just like that, they're able to pick up a huge gain. I mean, that's probably his biggest highlight real level play, being able to make a catch like that. But it also, it's set up because he is such a good blocker and because linebackers are afraid of Yushek in terms of the blocking game. They, they know to have to get around him because he is such a dominant blocker that it opens things up for him to be successful in the passing game. I mean, this is a guy who you can send out wide and legitimately have an option there. It's not just a decoy when you do it, which also sets things up because you send him out wide, then maybe you can run a screen pass and now you have a fullback out there who's blocking which is just a huge advantage with a fullback blocking you know anybody out wide that's a huge advantage usually you have to rely on a wide receiver trying to block out wide and listen San Francisco does actually have some decent uh blocking wide receivers which absolutely is another factor that I probably will break down because again we got a full week left, so there will be plenty of breakdowns left. I've, I've tried to make as many videos not about the Super Bowl. You know, what I don't want to do is get to the point where I'm watch mojoing myself and just making videos for the sake of making videos. I want to make sure I always have something to talk about. But at the same time, it's the biggest game of the year. So let's break down all the details. Let's break down all these little things. At least that's my mindset. As long as I have something to talk about and as long as I'm not just making a video to get money, but I'm actually making a video because I, I want to talk about something, then I'm going to make a lot of videos. That's just kind of my mindset on it. I do find it very interesting that, you know, everyone will tell you the fullback position is dead. There's no reason to get a good fullback anymore because the game is so pass heavy. And while you can't argue with the fact that a, the fullback position just isn't as important as it once was, the reality is you can absolutely have a lot of value if you have a good fullback. And it is kind of interesting that the two teams that are in the Super Bowl right now both have good fullbacks. You have Anthony Sherman, who was a second team all pro and a pro bowler. And then you obviously have Yushek, who I just made a whole video on. And so I do find that very interesting. Obviously, the 49ers use Yushek a lot more than the, the Chiefs use Sherman. But definitely, without a doubt, uh, it, I think it goes to show that having a good fullback absolutely has value.
I think that in a weird sort of way, football sometimes is circular. You know, if teams try to stop the pass, then you run over them. If they try to stop the run, you pass over them. And so for those reasons, if teams give up on a fullback, well, sometimes there's value in being the one team who still has a fullback. We saw New England win a Super Bowl that way last year, I thought, where they kind of just said we're going to ground and pound our way through the playoffs. And it, it really worked out, obviously having that Tom Brady guy helped a little bit too and just a great defense. But, and, you know, Bill Belichick, okay, there were a lot of reasons why the Patriots won a Super Bowl last year, but that was one of them. And there's a lot of reasons why the 49ers are in the Super Bowl this year, and Yushek is absolutely one of them. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.